Welcome back. Last episode of the see what the frick, man? You guys aren't here. Welcome back. Last episode, we were working a little bit on the castle. Today, I plan to finish the front facade of the castle. That way, we know exactly where we're going from here. But we're going to need some resources before we make that happen. We're going to need ourselves some blue wool, some lapis, some honeycomb, and of course, lots of end rods. So I can finish up lighting up a lot of the line work that we got going on here. Once we're done that, we'll be moving more into like the spider realm of things. So we're going to be doing a little bit of the contrast underneath the spider web working a little bit more towards that and coming up here we will be updating our map so this is week one week two and then third week i hope to have the entirety of the, underneath the spider web fully done so let's get into it so when it comes to blue wool we actually have a fair bit of blue wool honeycomb i think is going to be next inside of the storage room so i think we have a bunch of honeycomb so we'll just load this up I have next to none when it comes to lapis, but I've been trading quite a bit lately. But that also reminds me, I think we're going to have to shut off our honey farms over in the spawn chunks. So this is all the lapis that we've been collecting up from the uh, from the cleric. So we're definitely going to be buying some more lapis as we go. Over here at the bee farm inside the spawn chunks, it's looking like things are pretty much overflowing at this point. So I'm going to have to turn this thing off again. So I'm going to farm up all the hives and farm up all of the, um, the, um, whatever the heck these things are called, those bee boxes, because we are fully loaded when it comes down to it. And a lot of these boxes over here are completely loaded as well. So we'll have to be turning that off. All right. Now that that's done, we should have a little bit better frames out here. Completely, uh, disabled all of this. I'll probably craft up all these blocks later, but for right now, I'm a bit too lazy for that. Another big resource that we're going to need underneath the spider web is going to be Podzil. And I have a little bit of a plan for that. I'm going to basically get a bunch of big spruce trees, bone meal them up because I need to get rid of all of this moss in order to expand our skull clan. So we're going to be doing that. Well, dang. Completely out of saplings now. And I don't think this is going to be enough Podzil. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to fortune hoe all of these leaves and see how many saplings we can get back. All right, that's all I plan to do. I've got us uh, got about three stacks of saplings. I'm just going to continue to keep growing, and hopefully that will be enough podzil for us to move forward with our project. Now it's time to pull up all the podzil, hoping to get at least two boxes of podzil from all of this, but we'll see what happens. I'll check back in with you guys here in a minute. Well, after just a couple minutes of uh, getting spruce, and by spruce I mean podzil. We've gotten all the way up to uh, about that point, so I think we're going to need a heck of a lot more shulker boxes here, but I'm here for it. Okay, we're almost there when it comes to all the podzil. Check this out. We got ourselves a little bit of podzil. We're almost there, and I've almost gotten it all out of the thing, but we got ourselves a wandering trader. Now to only find the wandering trader deep within the forest here. Not quite sure where he would be at. Yeah, a lot of the forest did burn down. Found him. Over here by the fire, where it's nice and safe. Cool. All right, let's see what we got today. This pickens. We got the awakened summoning eye. Very cool. We have a glare. We got ourselves a big pot. We got a crocodile miner. We got ourselves sands. Not sure what that is. And crash bandicoot. Also, we have lodestone. Yeah, right. I don't have lodestones, man. It's like kind of like expensive. But let's take a look at these guys real quick. Crocodile Miner. Absolutely love this guy. I think he turned out fantastic. Kind of reminds me of... um, uh, uh, What's that game called with the monkeys? Um, uh, Donkey Kong. We have the Awakening Eye, which I think looks absolutely adorable. We have the large pot. It's a cauldron on top of a campfire. The glare. If you guys remember, that one is one of the mobs that was uh, almost voted in back in the day. We have ourselves San, who is from Undertale, I've been informed. Live over here on the Twitch chat. And of course, Crash Bandicoot. You guys might know who Crash is. Crash is like an old time video game. I flip and love Crash. But that is the lineup for today. That does it for the podzil now that we got all the podzil. We have six boxes of podzil. We have our honeycomb. We have our lapis that we're still working on currently. 
we have our blue wool and a bunch of really cool banners that i can actually cr probably show you guys these right now while we're here that we're going to incorporate into the build at some point we have this really cool banner right here we have the sunflower banner we have the bee banner and we have a cool sun banner i think these are really cool but back to lapis trading and we need to go make ourselves some end rods too that's all the lapis that we were managing to get today managing yep that's a word anyways that's all the lapis that we were able to get today now we're gonna go over to the build and we're gonna continue to keep building over there i got a bunch of end rods that we're gonna blow through real fast because i plan to get a lot of this litten up so yeah well flip ran out of end rods again would you look at that i feel like this is going to be an ongoing uh ongoing resource that's gonna be a huge pain in the neck but check it out a little bit more of the lighting is done around the castle really bringing out these pillars now Obviously, I got some lighting to do above there. I think I have a little bit of a plan for what we're going to do along here to kind of bring out these lines. So let's check that out here in a second. So I'm thinking right here, we might be able to dangle in some of this stuff. So let me come in down here. going to line it up with the yellow a little bit. Oh, there's not even a thing back there. Okay, well, I knew that. Let's see what this looks like. I don't know if it's going to stand... Uh. Uh, stands out a bit much so no back to the drawing board that's not actually gonna work i want to do something a little bit more subtle i know of one thing that we can do while we wait for our end rods to basically replenish themselves i got a bunch of honeycomb that i need to place on the sides here and i got a bunch of honey that i need to place up there and then we'll be segueing our way into the bottom portion of this putting a bunch of podzil down back at the blaze farm you know what that means over here farming some more end rods because this has become my life at this point and while we run back our end rods i think it's a perfect time to segue over to this build down here where we can start laying down a lot of that podzel we were farming up all right so the bottom of the web here web here we're basically just going to place down a bunch of uh podzel underneath i think it's really going to help bring out the web a lot more especially because the web is white i don't want to go with something dark i want to go with something a little bit more brown I think it'll be really nice to kind of go along with this web. Ever wondered what six boxes of Podzil looks like? Well, you're looking at it. We're completely out of Podzil now. I'm going to have to run it back when it comes down to the Podzil, but I think it's a great contrast for the web. We're continuing all this going around, and then this middle bit, I'm probably going to make a little bit darker for the epicenter of where all the spiders are going to be coming from. But there you have it. Back to the grind. Got herself about three boxes of shulker. What the hell? Got herself about three boxes of podzel now, but we also got ourselves a wandering trader here. So let's see what we got going on. Okay. So we got ghost face. We have the undead ender dragon. I don't know if I know what that is. We got a really cool lamp. We have a skulk mushroom and a stone castle everything else not really interested in so let me show you guys the new ones you guys have already seen the ghost face let me show you guys what we got going on here skulk mushroom they kind of look rotten we have a lantern we have ourselves a miniature castle and last but not least we have ourselves the undead ender dragon head oh i added this one that looks cool. It's like an undead ender dragon. All right, but back to it. I'm going to go back over to Podzo grinding. And well, probably about seven, eight shulker boxes later, I would say we're fully done with the Podzil as the first layer of the canvas that's about to go down. I would like to kind of start draping down a little bit the cliff sides and then adding a little bit more detail to like where the epicenter of our spiders are going to come from. So that means like this main hole right here. I want to make this hole down there a little bit more darker. It's Monday. And you guys know what that means? It's map day. We're going to have to fully update all of our maps that we've got going on here, which I'm super excited for. Because I think it's going to be a pretty massive change. This is week one. This is week two. And we're going to be placing week three right here. So let's get up and get that all set up. I got all the stuff like organized. I'm going to be like locking some maps. That way I can have like progressive updates. But we're going to do a three by three fully updated map of the entire area so there you have it i've got all nine maps completely done now i'm gonna go lock up all the maps and after this we have ourselves a wandering trader to check out 
So let's go over here and let's see if I can do this first try. I'm going to need to grab out my, my item frames. Yeah, that's a tornado in the background. Kind of crazy. Got a cool sky pack. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to place this stuff in here with the glass panes. That way I have like a locked map and then I have a map that's not locked. Wait. I think I was supposed to... I was supposed to... Um, I was supposed to duplicate that first. Whoops. Now that I fixed that up, I'm going to duplicate all these maps before I get into things. So let me just kind of pop all these guys in like this so I can make double the amount of maps that I need. And then I'm going to put them into my chest. Oh, we don't need to do that guy. I don't even know if you can duplicate uh, locked maps. Uh, and then we're going to take uh, these guys and we're going to plop them in here. And then we will lock them all up and we're going to place them onto our wall. So let's just get through all that. And now I can do this step, which I think the web looks insane. Wait, what? Okay, I thought for a minute there something was scuffed. It's kind of uh, can, kind of confusing. Wait, why can I not see any of these maps? It's just because I'm an idiot. Don't answer that. All right. Now we can get everything uh, set up over here. So we'll take these guys and we'll plop them in. Next layer. And our last layer, which this last layer probably won't even be seen until like the final-ish project. But now you can see them all. Week one, week two, week three. I'd say we got a fairly good amount of work done in the the last week. We got a little bit more of the castle done, obviously. It's hard to pick up on the uh, actual map, but you can see that we got a lot of our roof done. Obviously, we got ourselves the sun. And then all the pods all underneath here. And then, of course, the bridge as well. I would say this was a very productive week. Actually, hold on. And the spider. That spider looks so cool. We'll have to hide our uh, our beacon beam areas as well. But I think that's pretty neat. Speaking of neat, though, we have ourselves a wandering trader that we need to start buying from. We're going to fly up over here. I think he spawned over here somewhere. So we're going to see exactly what micro blocks that we have available. So where is he? He could be anywhere. He, he did spawn around this area. So I'm kind of curious to see if we could pot potentially find him around this area. This may take a little while. Okay, I've been informed by Twitch chat that apparently the wandering trader's on the wall. I do see a llama. But where's the trader? Um, this is kind of sus. Does that mean he spawned up here? Is he up here? I don't understand where this wandering trader's at. Oh, he's right here. He's tucked away. You kidding me? All right, let's see what we got going on here. We got Emperor Zerg from Toy Story. We have a star. We've got a bamboo bag. And we got ourselves a Nuka-Cola can. Let's go check these things out. Time to take a little bit of a closer look at these micro blocks. So we have the star, which I thought was really cool because they kind of looked like this star. It kind of looks like a, uh, a Mario star as well. We have Zerg, which was actually a really cool head. Uh, Buzz Lightyear was terrible. So Zerg was pretty cool. We got ourselves a Nuka-Cola can. So it should just say uh, Nuka-Cola on the sides here, which I'm a massive fan of Fallout for those of you guys who don't know. And then we got a bag of bamboo. So that's the, that's the select of today. With today's episode, I would like to get around to a little bit more of the epicenter of the spider web. Uh, or spider web more like cavern. I'm gonna be taking some smooth basalt and I'm gonna be putting it down inside of there with a nice like dark area where all the spiders are gonna be crawling out of. But over here, it's looking like I only have one box of the smooth basalt. So we're gonna go back to the base and grab some more. So it looks like we already have ourselves a box of smooth basalt. I'm gonna guess that two boxes of smooth basalt should be good for what we got planned for today. Chalker boxes of basalt was in fact definitely not enough. 
But we did make a little bit of headway when it comes to all the basalt down there. And it kind of darkens up the hole a little bit. So I have to do a lot of this over here. And then I need to make my way around there. So maybe three, four more boxes? I'm not too sure. But I blame Twitch chat. In order to make all the basalt that we're going to need, we're going to have to start smelting up a bunch of basalt. So let me grab a little bit of this. Uh-oh. I'm hoping that we have basalt in here somewhere. Oh, oh, we do, we do, we do. I've been uh, going at the reserves here for like a little bit. And it's, I don't really know which one of these barrels actually have basalt in them. But so we're going to kind of see what we got going on. And it's not really looking too good. Uh-oh. With all 240 furnaces going with the super smelter, I'm currently, oh, that's a button. I'm currently running completely super low on coal. So I have to I run back a little bit of the coal here. So we got to go over to the wither skeleton farm so we can reload a lot of the coal. But honestly, this probably will be enough to finish what we're doing today. Over at the wither skeleton farm. And we're going to go grab ourselves a little bit of coal so we could restock all of our super smelters. So hopefully we got some coal up in here. Otherwise, we're probably going to be here for a little bit. Judging by the looks of it, it doesn't look like we have a whole lot of coal. So I think we're going to be here for a little while. Collecting up a little bit of uh, coal here. So I guess I'll be up here swiping away at my wither skeleton farm. Hopefully to gather enough coal. One shulker box later of coal. I'm hoping that will basically be enough for our super smelter to pretty much catch up fully. But now that coal's on my radar, I'm probably going to start snowballing the coal resources periodically here and there. Well, while we wait for our smooth basalt to start cooking up and get through a little bit of that crisis, I've got some end rods that we need to farm up. So we're going over to the end island so I can farm up a bunch of coarse, coarse flower fruits, whatever you want to call those. So let's go ahead and do that now past the asteroid i think if we just get past this asteroid we'll make it to our outer islands it's a little bit less scary than just flying over an open void it kind of feels a little bit more secure like i'm not just like flying over the void and i've got a little bit more of like a a sense of like how far the outer islands are and it kind of gives you a different sense of scale on like how like many builds we have in our end as well so here we are i'm going to be taking down all of this stuff over here so we get as much uh, coarse fruit as we possibly can i think that we have enough to make a lot of end rods here there's no way no way are we not gonna have enough here so i'm gonna go cook this stuff up in our super smelter that we don't have enough coal for right now because you know we got problems well you know what there's a moment in every minecrafter's career where he fudges up today is one of those fudge ups so by placing all that smooth basalt down there, there was a slight oversight that I never even thought about. And that is that smooth basalt actually turns out to be black on a map. Who would have thunk? Thought it was going to be gray, but hey, here we are. And I completely lose like my entire spider. Uh, so you know what that means. I blame Twitch chat. So we're almost done with uh, ripping up all the basalt. But we got ourselves another wandering trader, so you know what that means. We're gonna see what we can get from this guy. Oh, we got Hulk. Sorry if I just peeked the mic super loud. Uh, we got Squirtle Squad, Crash Bandicoot, which you guys have all seen these guys. We have the Incredible Hulk. We have a Leprechaun hat. And we have ourselves a red mushroom bag. Other micro blocks that we have here, not really interested in them too much, but let me show you guys what these guys look like. This is the red mushroom bag. You guys have already seen Crash Bandicoot. You guys have seen that in the other episode. Uh, we have a leprechaun hat and we also have the Hulk. So those are the new additions. And since he didn't have the head that we we're looking for. Well, that's better. All right, well, let's get into a little bit more of the end rods up here. But before I do that, I want to actually kind of work out the terrain that goes around all these cliffs coming down a little bit better. So we don't have a, just a flat wall kind of holding everything in place. And over here as well, I have like nothing over here. So yeah, there's quite a bit of work to be done on this side, as you guys could probably tell. So we've made a little bit of a progress with a little bit of the dirt and stuff like that. Landscape kind of coming into the hole here a little bit. We're working our way all the way around here. So I have a little bit of a template, but I think this looks a heck of a lot better than this basically looked. Obviously, there's a lot of layers that I need to continuously add to this whole ordeal. But 
we got ourselves a wandering trader so you know what that means okay so this is probably the worst spawning spot for a wandering trader i think he spawned inside of here he is in here oh my gosh is he still alive okay there's a there's a ma this guy might not be alive just saying uh uh oh oh no did he kill my wandering trader no you didn't why no i think he did i can't even hit this guy get out of there i can't believe you guys well false alarm there's no traitors because apparently he just spawned underneath the ground and uh basically died just when you think you know wandering traders you don't so i think that looks a heck of a lot better right there now we're not coming off to a pretty much just a straight shear like cut off the thing we've actually grabbed and pulled out a little bit more of the the grass and all of the dirt carried it on downwards with all of the tough as well and eat it at eat it definitely said eat it but i'm not doing a third take on this uh we even added a little bit of the leaves just for a little bit of foliage obviously we have a lot to do when i comes to around the hole so there's going to be a lot of terraforming that needs to go around here but i'm going to have to build up more of this capsule so we're able to basically move this into the next stage because obviously the castle has quite a bit that needs to happen there's a lot of lapis that needs to be placed i need to get this whole middle part of the castle done and i need to actually carry around the castle the whole way that way i can have a little bit more of an interior done up and we're going to have a heck of a lot more spiders when it comes to the castle as well. And we also have ourselves a string farm we need to build. But I think that's all the time that we have for today. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.